Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA car kits on how to install our pure Bluetooth car kit in the 2006 uh, Toyota Prius. We're gonna start off with what tools you'll need. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket with an extension. You're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver, some sort of panel removal tools, and of course our kit. And right now I'll show you what uh, comes in the kit. So you're gonna have the module. Uh, you're gonna have the harness that connects to the back of the radio, which we're gonna show you how to do. You're gonna have a microphone, which you have to wire for Bluetooth, and we're gonna wire it right here. We're gonna show you how to do it. There's also an auxiliary cable, and uh, there's a USB charging port on the module, which you, while you're running the auxiliary cable, wiring it, you can run your USB charging cable. So, first thing that we're gonna start off is by taking off we have to get to the back of the radio. We're gonna start on this side. And first thing we're gonna do is by using our uh, panel removal tool, we're gonna kind of get underneath this panel. Open the door and remove it. So as you can see, I just removed it and it, the vent actually went out of place. So. It just you have to clip it back in. Okay, it's in. so you gotta make sure that it works here. The clips go in on this side and on this side. So now it's straight. So before putting it back in, make sure you uh, put it back in proper position. Uh, so we're gonna get over here, and it's kind of hard to see, but there's one Phillips screwdriver right here. And there's one right, right here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these two Phillips screws. That's in order to get this panel underneath the steering wheel to take it off. So now that the two screws are removed, we can remove this panel underneath the steering wheel. So we're gonna start from the left side. And it's, at this point it just held on clips. So once you remove the two screws, you can just simply drop down. So there's clips like this all around. So we're just gonna drop it down like this and we're gonna leave it there. The next step is to remove the panel above the steering wheel. So we're also gonna start on the left side. And if it kind of hurts your fingers, you can use the panel removal tools to get underneath. just like that so now we're gonna move it to the side so it's out of the way now next step is to remove uh, this vent which is in the middle so there's nothing holding it except for clips so we're gonna start from the top work our way around it and now we're gonna disconnect this connection by just pressing the clip on top in order to move it out of the way <clears throat> and as you can see here already this is one of the bolts we're gonna be removing in order to remove the screen uh, so there's one on this side and there's one on this one so we're gonna go ahead and remove now this vent kind of use our panel removal tool and it just comes out just like that so this is uh, where we're gonna use our uh, 10 millimeter socket with an extension we're gonna remove these two bolts and we're also gonna remove two screws right here so there's one right here and one right here. So this is to remove this uh, pocket underneath the radio. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. We removed the two bolts and now the screen is ready to come out. So just held on clips. So we're gonna put, move it to the side. Make sure that it doesn't fall. And make sure that you don't scratch your dash with the corners of the metal. Uh, next thing is the bottom part which we told you to remove the two screws so now 
the spark it can just come out there's just uh, four clips holding it <clears throat> and at this point now we're gonna remove the radio so the radio is held there's two bolts underneath and there's three on top but as you can see the middle one does not relate to the radio so we're just gonna remove the two side ones and then the radio is gonna be ready to come on and we're gonna do that right now so now we remove the four bolts and we're gonna remove the radio <clears throat> just like that so at the back here there's gonna be an empty port right here Sometimes uh, if your car has a CD changer, you might need a Y cable. This connection might be occupied, but this particular car doesn't need it. So we're just gonna take our harness, which we showed you earlier. We're just gonna go ahead and plug it in. And so this is the first step of our installation, kind of, for the module. So the harness gets attached to the module and the module plugs it into the back of the radio. So now we're gonna show you how to wire the microphone. So we're gonna start from the A pillar and we have to wire the wire all the way to the back of the radio. But as you can see everything is open so it's gonna be pretty easy to do. Here we have our microphone. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove this rubber piece. Move it to the side. And then we're gonna put the microphone kind of all the way up there. And then we're just gonna feed it down while we're repl replacing the rubber. And we have to get it behind the panel, so. We have to put it in. Then we're gonna use our second hand to pull it through, just like that. Make sure you take your time and tuck in the wire nicely behind the panel and that's it so now the wire is on the inside and we're gonna just start fishing it to the back so you're just gonna move it out of the vents way and now we're gonna show you from the inside so we're just gonna keep feeding the wire so as you can see it's pretty much out of the way and uh, I'm gonna keep going. Say like that, almost there. So you just gotta make sure when you're feeding the microphone wires that uh, you stay clear of the vents because the vents are actually gonna plug in in there once you put them back and also of all these openings for the clips and once you get to the back of the radio we're just gonna plug it into the correct uh, microphone slot right here just like that and then uh, the last step is to wire the auxiliary cable which I showed you earlier so there's uh, two ways to do it there's one way with doing without using or drilling any holes and that would be to feed it to the glove box through kind of through this opening right here so that's probably the way we're gonna do it or you can also once you remove the radio you can use the drill in order to drill a hole in this uh, pocket right here from the back uh, but it depends on you if you want to have a little hole here or you want to have it without holes and just run it to the to the glove box and then once you decide where to run it we're just gonna plug it in to the auxiliary port right here and same with the USB optional charging cable that you might run so now we're gonna put everything back and uh, show you how everything works I have to put the key in turn on to the first position I guess in this car so we're gonna go to audio and the mode that you gotta use is uh, CD changer mode. So you have your regular CD by pressing the this button twice you get to the CD changer mode which you didn't have before. But I can't demonstrate because there's no CD inside but the CD still works the same way as before. So is your uh, radio and so on. So we're gonna go to the CD changer. So you have about uh, one minute until 
one minute in order to pair to the device so we're gonna pair to GTA car curve right here so you're gonna only have to do it once so that says it's been paired so all the other times it's gonna do it automatically every time you're gonna get inside the car so we're gonna go to our music now we're gonna turn the volume up so as you can hear it's playing through the through the radio so then you can control the the volume through the radio or through your steering wheel controls and if you want to do next songs you can do it with the steering wheel controls same as with the radio controls switch the song but it's taking a while to be heard here's one more so as you can see it's wireless uh, so now we're gonna demonstrate what happens during the phone call so you have to be in this uh, CD changer mode so in our kits mode which has been added to your radio in order to do phone calls and as you're gonna see right now the music is gonna stop so we're gonna answer by pressing next track just like that and if you want to hang up you can either do it from the phone or also through the radio or through the steering wheel controls by pressing next track so that hung on the phone call and you're back to playing your music so this is uh, so we'll change songs with pretty much every app that has next song feature uh, now we're gonna show you how to do the auxiliary cable right here so we're gonna go back to audio and we're gonna go to disc 2 so that gonna cut off the Bluetooth and we're gonna plug the auxiliary and right now it's playing through the auxiliary so it's pretty simple but with the auxiliary you gotta control the music through the actual phone so this is just for audio so you can use it for your non bluetooth devices that you might have if you want to go back to your bluetooth we're just gonna press disc one choose any music and it's right now playing through through the bluetooth so that's pretty much it on to how to use our kit. So again, this was a video for GTA car kits in the 2006 Toyota Prius. I hope you liked our video and we'll see you next time.